welcome to BBC London News. A family from Enfield is demanding the Foreign Office and the St Lucian government step up their efforts to find out why their daughter died in a hotel pool. It's been more than a year since Hannah Defoe, the cousin of Tottenham player Jermaine Defoe, was electrocuted after going for a swim while on holiday. But an inquest into her death still hasn't been held. Mark Webber has been speaking to Hannah's mother. A paedophile who was allowed to walk free after his 13-year-old victim was described as predatory is to have his sentence reviewed. Neil Wilson from Romford was given a 12-month jail sentence suspended for two years after admitting sexual activity with a child and making indecent images. Today it's been decided that judges at the Court of Appeal should look at whether the sentence was too lenient. Our Home Affairs correspondent Guy Smith has this report. A number of mosques and Muslim organisations in London have been sent Islamophobic DVDs containing offensive material. They were received around the time of the Muslim holiday Eid and include insults to the Prophet Muhammad. The Metropolitan Police said forensic teams are examining two of the discs. Helen Drew has been to the East London Mosque, which is one of the places that's received the material. Helen Drew with that report. Commuters had to be evacuated from a smoking train at the peak of rush hour this morning just outside Hither Green Station in South East London. Now, with the football transfer window closing in one week's time, there's still plenty of business to be done for London's clubs. It's Arsenal are in action. Yes, we've been hearing all about the Wayne Rooney, Manchester United, Chelsea saga and of course Tottenham and Gareth Bale is in as he's going. Arsenal are actually playing some football tonight in the Champions League. And I understand there's also been an announcement today from the British Paralympics Association. Yeah, it's a big week for them. On Thursday we celebrate one year. So they'll be joining BT and Sainsbury's as the main sponsors of the BPA. Okay, sorry, thank you. Now, best known for films such as The Crying Game and Made in Dagenham, the film producer Stephen Woolley's new project, Hyena, is a gritty tale of Albanian and Turkish gangs in the capital. Our entertainment correspondent Brenda Romanis has had exclusive on-set access behind the scenes. Now, alongside the hundreds of thousands of people enjoying themselves at Notting Hill Carnival, and uh, I wish that I could tell you that she was here to show off her dance moves, but we'll settle for the weather with Kate Kinsella. Just about, Sonia. And good, Sonia. Kate, thank you. Uh, that's about it from us. Asad Ahmed will be here with our 6.30 evening programme, but for now, from all of us, do have a very good afternoon. Goodbye.